So I had somebody ask me the other day, um, where's the best place to hunt during the rut? Every time I hear the word rut, I'm breaking it down. Pre-rut, rut, post-rut, because they're all a little bit different. If you're hunting the pre-rut and the rut's really getting strong, getting close, getting close, remember, deer are pretty visual sometimes. They want to be able to look. They're going to walk out to a food plot and look. Nothing's there. It's, it's there. They're going to check it out, try to get downwind, smell the does. Those big mature bucks, they're gentlemen. They don't harass the does. They don't chase them and run them ragged. They watch, they stay back until the time is right. They know how to court a lady. If I'm gonna choose a spot, the wind is everything. I've gotta keep that wind in mind when I approach my stand where I'm gonna go and while I'm there, it's crucial. And I use Ozonics in position to protect my backside. I'm always trying to hunt into the wind, slight side winds or into my face, but I want my backside protected. A couple years ago, uh, Jordan and I had a big buck. We were calling to a small one, and a big, nice buck came up there, and we had Ozonics going, he never smelled us. He tried to circle around, and we got a shot. Turned out, he ducked my arrow, so I missed him. But Jimmy, dead gummit, killed him about 45 minutes later. If I remember right, maybe 30 minutes later, it was about a mile from there. Holy smoke. Oh, he was so happy I didn't kill that deer's big 11 point. He loved it. But at any rate, where am I going to go? Maybe the edge of a cutover, as deer are going to and from looking, keeping that wind in mind. If I've got a, a wind coming like this and i got a, a cutover edge right here, what a perfect place, because deer bucks are going this way, and as they travel, they're cutting that wind, and they're, they're looking for a hot dough. And that's why it's so important to keep the wind in mind for yourself, when you approach the stand, when you're in the stand, and how you're going about optimizing and finding a buck who's looking for a hot doe during the early stages and right before the rut. During the rut, whew, when they lock down and they get with a doe, they're going to stay there, especially those big gentleman bucks, those mature bucks. They just lay down, stand there, watch them. They ain't doing nothing. They ain't going nowhere until she moves. If she moves, he's going with her. If another buck gets her win and comes over there, he's going to fight her. So the best way to get a buck and kill a buck during that time of year, during the rut, if you ask me, is calling. And I'm telling you what, using the can, the buck roar, and the weeds is a deadly combination. I cannot tell you how many times we have not known anything was near. And we did that, and bam, there he is. So remember, hunting during the rut, Pre-rut, rut, post-rut, watch the wind, and don't forget calling during the minute. All faces out.